Welcome to the morning news. Please support growing channel by the press subscribe. Trump accepts North Korea's invitation to discuss its nuclear program. Washington, North Korea's leader, Kim Jong Un, has invited President Trump to meet for negotiations over its nuclear program, an audacious diplomatic overture that would bring together two strong willed, idiosyncratic leaders who have traded threats of war. A South Korean official, Chung Ui Yong, who conveyed the invitation told reporters that Mr. Trump had accepted it and would meet with Mr. Kim by May. The White House press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, confirmed Mr. Trump's acceptance, saying that the president would meet with Kim Jong un at a place and time to be determined. We look forward to the denuclearization of North Korea. In the meantime, all sanctions and maximum pressure must remain. For Mr. Trump, a meeting with Mr. Kim, a leader he has derided as Little Rocket Man, is a breathtaking gamble. No sitting American president has ever met a North Korean leader, and Mr. Trump himself had ruled out direct talks unless North Korea takes measurable steps toward relinquishing its nuclear arsenal. Mr. Chung's announcement came at the end of another day of high drama at the White House, in which the president defied his own party by announcing sweeping tariffs on steel and aluminum imports and sought to ignore a mushrooming scandal over a pornographic film actress who claims to have had an affair with him. This week, Mr. Chung, President Moon Jae-in's national security adviser, and his director of National Intelligence Service, Su Hoon, made a two-day trip to North Korea, where they became the first South Korean officials to meet Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim made promises to the South Korean envoys, which Seoul hoped would meet the American conditions for starting a dialogue with North Korea. Mr. Trump has said he could start talks with North Korea only under the right conditions. The Trump administration has repeatedly said it would start talks with North Korea only when it first agreed to discuss denuclearization. American officials have also demanded that North Korea take some actions to show its sincerity. On Monday, when he met with the South Korean envoys, Mr. Kim said North Korea was willing to start negotiations with the United States on denuclearization. He also proposed a moratorium on all nuclear and missile tests while such talks are underway, and withdrew North Korea's objection to the joint military exercises that the United States and South Korea will start in early April. Mr. Chung and Mr. Su, the South Korean invoice, visited the White House on Thursday to brief Mr. Trump and his staff on their meeting with Mr. Kim. They have said they were also carrying additional messages from North Korea that they would deliver to Washington. Their trips to Pyongyang and Washington were part of South Korea's efforts to help persuade North Korea and the United States to ease their standoff and start a dialogue. At the same time, South Korea has been pressing ahead with its own efforts to improve ties with North Korea. The two Koreas have agreed to hold a summit meeting between Mr. Moon and Mr. Kim in late April. Since taking power in May last year, Mr. Moon, the South Korean leader, has repeatedly called for a dialogue with North Korea, even as Mr. Trump has escalated pressure on North Korea with increasingly harsh sanctions, more vigorous military maneuvers and a string of hostile Twitter posts. Mr. Kim rattled the region last year with a series of nuclear and long-range missile tests. Then he suddenly responded to Mr. Moon's overtures for dialogue in his New Year's Day speech, in which he proposed talks with South Korea saying he was willing to send athletes to the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. North Korea sent hundreds of athletes, cheerleaders and singers to the Games last month. The two Koreas have also exchanged envoys in recent weeks, including Mr. Kim's sister, Kim Yo-jong, who met Mr. Moon in Seoul last month. South Korea hoped to leverage the nascent inter-Korean date on create during the Olympics to help mediate a dialogue between Washington and Pyongyang and avoid the risk of military conflict on the Korean peninsula. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget subscribe to be the channel.